How's it going, YouTube? So, it's been a while since I posted any videos, but I've uh, recently come across some problems with my uh, frame right next to the power steering box, and that would be the frame cracking. Um, when I bought this Jeep, it already had um, a few cracks. So the first thing I did was have bought a frame stiffening kit that was for this Jeep, and I put that on. But what I didn't notice is that it had actually cracked again. Just so, okay, here is the frame stiffening kit, and it comes over and down right there. Um, this piece I just had put on. It's just a custom, you know, I had a buddy weld it on for me and whatnot. But I ended up, the original crack was in this area. Um, had this kit that obviously fixed that, but... Um, a new crack had appeared right up through here, just behind this piece. Um, and it was, it was quite a big crack. Every time I would turn to the right, the frame here, we we'll won't see anybody, but you know what I'm saying? It would, it would pull all the way out and there'd be a gap about that big, um, between that part of the frame and, um, well, that was just the, the gap that was in that hole. I'll, uh, I'll show you a picture, a couple pictures up here, and I'll show you the process I did to get this piece welded on. I also um, welded a little piece to the bottom that kind of wraps around. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a another piece right there. So yeah, the permanent fix that I'm going to do so that there's for sure no more cracking is take a clamp of some sort. I believe it's called an earthquake clamp. And I'm going to fasten it around the neck of the power steering and then take a tube, um, just a one inch tube, piece of metal, and bring it to the other side of the vehicle and weld it on. I'm going to put a plate, weld it on here, and then weld that tube to that plate. So basically, it'll relieve um, all the pressure that's on this side and we'll kind of equal it out. Put some pressure on the other side of the um, Jeep also and uh, that's supposedly the best way to go about it um, I will be doing that this weekend so I will be posting another video on you know how I did that any complications I had and uh, how it just drives and handles overall but if you have any sort of other way to go about fixing this cracked frame problem please comment it below and um, you know, I will let you know what I think and we'll be able to help everyone else out that has this issue also. But so yeah, that's just the, that's what's been going on with my Jeep. But um, I uh, I don't have much footage of it wheeling, but I've taken it quite a lot of places, including, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Washington State, but I've been to Natchez Trail, LB Hills, um, Menashtaff area. Uh, but yeah, so I will be working on some uh, wheeling videos soon, but until then, I'm just going to be, until I go wheeling again, I'll be fixing up my frame for sure, making that a permanent fix, so it's uh, easier to drive around. But as you can see, I, uh, I lost my sidestep over here. I think it looks so much better without it, personally, but it just snapped off after wheeling too much, and... I'm probably going to take the other one off here soon to get some real rock sliders. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions about my Jeep. I'm, uh, I usually reply pretty quickly. Um, let me know any questions or comments about the uh, frame. But yeah, that's what's been, uh, that's what I've been working with. Alright, I'll see you guys later.